So what's up guys? Um, we are going on a mommy daddy date night. Yes. Um, we were just talking about how it's been a cool such, minute. Yeah, an extremely long time. Like we couldn't we honestly couldn't even think of the day or the you know, the last time we actually even had a date night mm -hmm. together. So just we just mom and dad. we just assume it's been over a year. Um yeah, it's been an extremely long time, but we're excited. Yeah. Um, we I feel kind of guilty being away from the boys, but yeah. I mean, I was telling Rochelle like, you know, this is not, this doesn't happen like weekly. This doesn't happen monthly. Like this doesn't happen very often for both of us. And to have this time um, together without the yeah. kids, be able to talk to each other, be able to eat a yeah. hot meal and not feel rushed. rushed. Yeah. So we're excited. <laughs> Rochelle gets her, you know, Rochelle time. Michael gets Michael time. But it's been a really long time for uh, for us since we've had like together, no distractions, like no time constraints or anything like that. So yeah. we're super excited. We're here in Carmel, downtown yes. Carmel. We're gonna eat um, at this place called Forge in the Forest. Yeah, super um, excited. Yeah, we'll get we'll sh definitely show you the food this time and what we order. Yeah. We'll let you know what it. Because we won't have a kid that's crying or the kid or that that needs attending to. Yeah. And so um, we'll let you know how the food is. We'll vlog it and yeah. we'll give it our recommendation. Cool. I get it done. I got this brown blazer from Urban Outfitters. It was on sale. I love it. Got a YSL bag. Um, this uh, romper that I'm wearing, I've worn it before, but I figured, you know, I, I'll repeat an outfit. Got it from Anthropology on sale also, and Free People Sandals on sale also. Who am I right now? I'm an on sale girl. Yeah. You I, to I told her how to sh um, shop at um <laughs> at like really expensive stores and just go straight to like okay. the sales section because yeah. you like you get steals like all the time because no one ever goes there, especially like at an Anthro or at a Gap or or something like that. Even though I hardly get it, I love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good. say like if they're looking for a nice casual like maybe if they have kids oh that's a good maybe, idea. yeah yeah if they have kids or like maybe like sure. if they're they just want to like dine outdoors during the day um i'd say go but if if we're just like just food just food alone what the heck is this guy doing bro um Sorry, that's <laughs> not the nice side of me. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, you're so mean. You're just so mean. Just simply food alone, I'd say probably like a solid six. Oh, okay, I was gonna rate maybe it. like six, like sixty nine percent. I I was gonna rate mine too. Is either gonna be a six or a seven? I food. Yeah, just strictly off food. Yeah. Um. That the outdoor, ambience? the ambiance was cool. The outdoor, yeah. we we just asked to get sat like as soon as possible, um, so they sat us inside, um, because obviously everyone was sitting outside and it was nice. So um, the outdoor seating area is really nice. Um, too bad they don't have more outdoor seating. Yeah. Um, we literally yeah. had this guy right in front of us. It was him and his wife and his daughter, <laughs> and he was like, "We love this place. Can we sit out there?" It's and like, yeah, like. The fact that you love this place like has nothing to do with like <laughs> you, did you think you were gonna get like sat faster yeah Cause, like, I, I mean, mean great that's great that you love yeah. the place they but, would uh, hope that you guys like the place because 
that's the reason why you're choosing to eat there, but yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, I say a solid, solid six, solid six, teetering on like a, on a seven. Um, yeah, we got the carbonara pasta. We got the margarita, margarita pizza. pizza. Um, those are really good. I mean, if they're looking for just a really like, if you're just looking for like a low key spot, um, kind of like no frills, pretty much. Um, you just you want like just a solid American dinner. Um, oh my gosh, look at that line. I know. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it. We're um, we're doing like a little impromptu trip to Revival, um, but we just saw the line right now, and and this place typically has a line, and we typically wait in it. Um, but this line is kind of ridiculous. What should we do? <sighs> sucks. I know, because we're craving it and we want to get back home to the kids. <sighs> How fast? They don't even, it doesn't look like it's moving. What do you think we should do? What other ice cream place can you think of? Or dessert place? Not eat. I can't think of anything either. Should we do a... Oh, that sucks. I knew we should have... They had a butter cake... Or a chocolate, and I love cookies, a chocolate skillet cookie. Yeah, but we were And like, Michael said, meh. I was like, what about, what if we just drive to Revival? I honestly, he I said, forget if, about the line that they have here. I, I forget about it all the time. He said, what if we drive to Revival and wait an hour? And I was like, sure. Um, okay, we're going to recollect. We'll be back soon. <laughs> Hopefully we get dessert. You'll see us again. If not, um, just assume that we didn't get dessert. just got our ice cream we waited about 30 minutes just to get the ice cream but we we got him so there's no need to have a review on them you just need to go they're bomb try it we love getting the bees knees ice cream sandwiches they are the best so if you want to end the night with some dessert definitely recommend going to revival ice cream you won't regret it you need Anyways, it's in this cute little plaza area. And then to access it, since we parked on Wave Street, you have to go down these stairs right here. You hypnotize me with the gift of your tongue. Take a moment and look. I got the Baja fish tacos. Look at how huge these things are. I have yet to take a bite into it. Ro got a cheeseburger with some french fries. Mm. And Michael got fish and chips. Halibut fish and chips. Halibut fish and chips. Look how cool these french fries are. What is it? A mushroom? It's called a sidewinder fry. Kind of looks like a shrimp. Oh. So we just finished brunch and I had the fish, Baja fish tacos. I'm gonna rate it about a six, seven. It was all right. Whoa. I think maybe I would have enjoyed the breakfast options a little bit more, but I'm glad I tried it. Um, I didn't eat the salad that it came with. I didn't realize that the dressing was already put on there since I wasn't sure how to track those macros. And um, they actually put two tortillas wrapped in the fish taco and I only had one fish taco wrapped and the rest I just kind of picked out with my fork. But it was pretty good. What, how was your, um, I had, your fish and chip? Yeah, I had uh, fish and chips, but they were halibut. Um, it was good. It was, re it was really good. Um, I mean, nothing to rave or nothing to... Um, if you just if you're looking for a nice 
casual lunch experience, that might be the spot. But, you know, nothing to go crazy over. Just a, sol a solid, like, American diner. Yeah. American, American cafe. Yep. And Ro had his cheeseburger. He didn't really eat the cheeseburger, mostly ate the french fries. But we took his stuff to go anyways. And Riker ended up falling asleep, so it kind of worked out for us.